Hallelujah. Heavenly Father, Lord God, we thank you, Lord God, for your presence is here. Lord God, we celebrate this life. This life has been accepted by you, the Father. And we get, get the call to be called as sons and daughters of the Most High God. And God, we live this life to declare your victory. Because you are the God that have victories after victory after victory, Lord God. And Lord God, we see that and we experience that, Lord God. Lord God, we invite you to come in, to be with us. Yes. Lord God, as we study this word, Lord God, help us to understand. Help us to experience, Lord God, that power through this word in the mighty name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Thank you, worship team. You can take a rest. Hallelujah. How are you all doing, my brothers and sisters? Lately, we get to hear the pandemic start to spread again. Today's message is hope in the dark. When you look to the societies, you can see troubles. See troubles come and trouble go. Sickness come and, and then later on you get to be healed and it go away. Poverty comes and poverty go away. Panic comes and panic go away as well. These things come and go, come and go. Never end until we leave this earth, go to heaven to be with the Lord. I can see that in this world, sometimes it's, it's scary. Sometimes it's difficult. Sometimes it's hard to endure all of this. But we can see many generation after generation, according to the scriptures, according to the word of God. I'm going to read from the book of John, chapter 16, verse 32 to 33. A time is coming, and in fact have come, when you will be scattered. Jesus said to his disciple, when the time comes that nobody will be around Jesus, each of you, each of um, uh, scattered, each to your own home. Everyone, go away. Leave Jesus alone to be in their home. Because they are afraid of persecution at that time. When Jesus got arrested, disciple, his disciple went away, go away, hiding in their own home. You will leave me all alone. Yet, Jesus said, I'm by myself. Actually, he said, yet I am not alone. You see that I am alone? Actually, I am not alone. For my Father is with me. Sometimes when the pandemic comes, when the troubles come, sometimes you feel like I am alone. Nobody around me. But Jesus said, you see that I'm alone, but I am not actually. My Father is with me. You might think that you are alone, ladies and gentlemen. Actually, Jesus, the Spirit of God, is with you, is with me. Because His Word said, He will not leave us, nor forsaking us. He is with us. Until the very end of the earth. This is his word. And then in verse 33. Jesus said I have told you. These things. So that in me. You may have peace. 
Oh, disciple, disciple, disciple. You might feel, you might feel bad for me that I am alone. You might feel scared and all that because of persecution. But in me and through Jesus Christ, listen to Jesus. In Him, we can have peace. In this world, Jesus said, you will have trouble. Jesus said, in this world, it means all over the world. In Cambodia, in Singapore, in Malaysia, in any countries in the world. Might have trouble, but take heart. Remember, Jesus said, I have overcome the world. You got in trouble. You got panicked. World pandemic. But remember, take heart. I have overcome this world. This is what Jesus has said. Ladies and gentlemen, in another, another scripture in the book of Romans, chapter 15, verse 12 to 13, again, Isaiah says, There shall come the root of Jesse. There shall come the root of Jesse. And he who arises to rule over the Gentiles. The Gentile. The people never ever heard about Jesus. Then the Gentile. The people never ever heard about Jesus. The people didn't have hope. They start to have hope. They start to receive the good news from God as well. The Gentiles. In Him, in God, through God Jesus Christ, show the Gentiles hope. In Jesus, show the Gentiles hope. In Jesus is our hope. The hope for me, the hope for you all, the hope for the world. In God. Verse 13. Now, may the God of hope now may the God of hope fill you with all joy. May the God of hope fill you, ladies and gentlemen. Fill you with joy and peace. Oh God, oh my brother, oh pastor, how come, how can I have joy? How can I have peace? We just heard that many people got infected. We just heard that this pandemic is wild. It's deadly. Yes, it is. But in God, in God we can have joy through Jesus Christ. We can have peace in believing so that you will abound in hope. You will be abound in hope by the power of of the Holy Spirit, you will be abound in hope by the power of the Holy Spirit. The Spirit of God is with you and with me. How can we have peace and hope? Point number one, be a person of faith. You can have hope, but you need to be a person of our faith. Philippians chapter 1 verse 21. The apostle Paul said, For to me, as for Paul himself, he said to live is Christ. When he is alive, he live, he live for Christ. It's benefit of others. He lived for Christ. But he said, and to die is gain. If he is living on this earth, he lives for Christ. He lives to help others. It's benefit others. But when he dies, when he goes to heaven, it's benefit himself. The Apostle Paul did not afraid of death. You and I can have faith in God. Believe in what, what God can do. God can do all things. 
He can help you, my brothers and sisters. He can help you. There is nothing that this God cannot do. He can do all things. God is steering the direction of your life. God is steering the direction of my life. If we are Christian, we shall not be afraid of death. If we are Christian, we shall allow the faith to rise in us. If we are Christian, we are following the Lord Jesus Christ. We shall allow faith rise and let God is the one that is steering the direction of our life. I believe right now until now. You have allowed God, you have allowed Christ to lead you. Continue to have faith and stronger faith. Point number two. In order for us to have joy and peace, be a good listener to God's voice. Be a good listener to God's voice. First Peter 1.14 As obedient children do not Conform to the evil desires you had when you live in ignorance. Don't live in ignorance. When you hear God, when you hear the voice of God, just act and obey. Yes, sir. Yes, Lord. I will take the first step. Yes, Lord. I obey you. Yes, Lord. Speak to me. Yes, Lord, I am ready. Ladies and gentlemen, my brothers and sisters, don't be ignored and ignorance to the word of God. Continue. Allow this word to fill your heart. Deuteronomy chapter 28 verse 2. And all these blessings, the blessings, wow, the blessings, the blessing can be, be given to you, shall come. The blessing shall come upon you and overtake you if you obey the voice of the Lord your God. Wow, this is the promise of the Lord. In the Bible, when you obey His voice, you will get blessings, my brothers and sisters. Get a lot of blessings from Him. Guess what? Every one of us live to receive, and then when we receive, we share. When you want the blessing from the Lord, you know, be a good sons and daughters that can hear God's voice all the time. God is talking always. God is not mute. He is alive. And God is with you like what I just said before. He is with you. He will never ever leave you alone. Because He is alive. He is, he is talking. He loves you. And He loves me. He wants to tell us. So therefore, be a good listener to His voice. The voice of God, my brothers and sisters, need to be the, loud, need to be the voice that is louder then the voice of fear. One more time, the voice of God needs to be louder than the voice of fear. Then you are okay. You can do it because God is on your side. Point number three, in order for us to have joy and peace in our life, have your own balance. Your own balance. There's a balance in life. You hear this, you heard that, and then you come to a common understanding. Have your own balance and use the wisdom from God. You have to have the good balance and use the Word of God and compare with the Word of God. I'm going to read from Proverbs chapter 9, verse 10. The fear of the Lord is the beginning of wisdom. When you fear, when you allow God to take the first step, fear is meaning we exalted Him. We honor Him. We allow Him to say first, speak first and act first. And we just obey. Let God 
do first. Honor Him. Respect Him. And so the fear of the Lord is the beginning of wisdom. And knowledge of the Holy One is understanding. If you want wisdom, go to God. Go to God. You can be safe. I can be safe. If you want to be safe, go to God. Let me tell you something. Just my own opinions anyway. You know, everyone wants to live a happy life. Everyone wants to party, like to go to party, you know, and dancing and singing and stuff like that. Yeah, stuff like that. People, people like parties. Yes, me too. But there is a place that is safe to have a party. And there is not, uh, the place is not so safe to have a party. For example, oh yeah, you want to have a party in the club. A uh, club is not so safe. But sound club, club, it sounds like, um, yeah, we don't know, it's questionable. You know, when people feel bad, when people feel, feel down, and all that, they like to go to club. They could, I don't know, I've never been to a club, but people told me they could have some singing and playing or whatever, you know, over there. Where the, you would say the club is a place where they dumb their stress and their, you know, garbage or whatever in their life at. But where do they dumb in to? You know, sometimes when they're there, they have too much fun and they drink a lot. In my opinion, you know, I myself, I don't want to be around a drunker because it's not safe. I believe people are good. When they get drunk, their decision is not that good. So they just act wildly. It's not safe. So, you know, if you want to be safe, you can just go to God. If you feel down, you go to God. If you feel whatever, you go to God. God can help you all. Ladies and gentlemen, in this world pandemic, it's difficult again. It's difficult. Some people cannot make a living. Some people cannot travel to see their relatives and friends. Some people, they can't see their relatives face to face. It's really difficult. But your prayer, my prayer, it helps. I'm going to finish with the scripture in 1 Thessalonians chapter 5, verse 17. Pray continually. Pray always. If you're happy or you're not so happy, always pray. Pray means you are communicating with God. Talk to God. Listening to God. When you pray, you build your faith. When you pray... Guess what? You can hear God. When you pray, you can have wisdom from God when you hear God. So pray, ladies and gentlemen. Let me tell you, this pandemic, God can help. Thankfully to the Lord God, when pandemic came to Cambodia, we prayed. And people work together. And so far, no one died yet. The pandemic is died on and God healed. You know, God helped the people and people got healed. Most of them healed already. God have done that. Now the pandemic happened again. We believe that the Lord our God is going to do it again. Because He loved these people. I would like to invite you to pray with me. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Heavenly Father, in the mighty name of the Lord Jesus Christ, 
Lord God, I want to take this opportunity to thank you for what you have done, what you have healed, restore people back to their family, Lord God. And Lord, we believe, Lord God, in the mighty name of the Lord Jesus Christ, you are going to heal all of these people, Lord God, that got COVID-19. Lord God, in the mighty name of the Lord Jesus Christ, we ask that you are the Lord our God will provide to the people who lack of food, lack of anything, Lord God. And Lord God, restore what was lost, Lord God, and help people to trust you and live in your peace, Father, Lord God. Lord God, I believe that you are a good, good Father. You love us so much, Father, Lord God. And Lord God, I believe that this prayer, you answer from heaven, Lord God. And I, I believe that you will stop people from getting COVID-19 in Cambodia, Lord God. Lord God, protects everyone that don't have COVID-19 yet, Lord God. Lord God, heal everyone that have COVID-19, Lord God. Lord God, we declare that you are the God that live and bless this city, live and bless this country, Lord God. Lord God, I lift the people of Cambodia and the people of this world into the hand of the loving Father in the mighty name of the Lord, Jesus Christ. May the Lord God bless you. Amen and amen and amen. Thank you.